looking directly at your engine your alternator sits right up here up top you won't have all these intercoolers in the way but that's your alternator right there that's what we'll be replacing first thing I want to do is take off my positive terminal you know 10 millimeter for me I'm gonna pop that off move that out the way and I'm gonna set a towel in the way just to make sure this cable doesn't touch that terminal because I'll be working with the alternator and it's got a positive terminal attached to it I got my terminal off and I set my towel in the way so now that won't have any contact to get the serpentine belt off we're gonna move this pulley right down here is well you're gonna put your socket right inside of that little hole right there so what you do is you put your socket in there like so let's see if I can get this thing in there with one hand hold up put that in there with one hand and all you're gonna do is turn it down that's it you turn it down it'll loosen it up like that so once you turn it down you see that belt the belt loosens up you turn it down the belt loosens up and you can actually move it off I'm gonna move it off this right here just was I got it pushed down with one hand I'm just pulling the belt off now your serpentine belts off now there you go I mean it's that easy and just like I said that's the hole you're gonna put it into right here that's my adapter but right there you just push down toward the ground pull off your little water pump you can pull the wheel up with your water pump and you're good now you should be able to free it up up here just pull it straight off now that belts off so you have nothing holding that on no belt holding that on let's start working on the bolts now all right to work on the bolts you're going to take off these two 13 millimeters at the top you got two 13 millimeters and you got two 16 millimeters right there one right here and you got one right here those are 16 millimeters you can also use the 5 8 instead of 16 millimeters i got a 5 8 i mean because it's an american car 5 8 fits perfectly on here but i remember last time i used 16 millimeters same thing these are going to be your 13s pop those off and then we'll start freeing up the alternator if you want because we have all of the electrical unhooked you can take this off right here and there right there you have a 13 millimeter bolt you'll be pulling off from the power wire plus you've got your adapter you can slide back this little red piece right here you slide back that red piece now I can just squeeze that piece in here is a little tab and there you go now that's all so you got your connection is free like I said slide your red piece back pull get that that's gonna be a 13 millimeter will stick right on top of there and that'll be ready to go okay on top of my alternator power wire that's a 12 millimeter for me so I'm gonna do 12 millimeter like I said these are both 13s these are your 16 millimeters that and that right there or 5 8 whatever okay got my bracket off that was the actual bolt that was a nut that went on top of there so you'll end up with the bolt in the front, nut on the back, and there's your bracket. Okay, I had to use my tripod because I'm getting these two, like I said, those 16 millimeter bolts off there, but they're, you know, also 5 8 You work those two off. Like I said, I already got one loose. I'm gonna let the other one kind of off a little bit. Now, I'm not changing my alternator because it's broken. I'm changing it because YouTube told me that my last video had music on it. I had some Kanye West on it, so they kind of didn't monetize it. They said that I cannot use that video. It can still be played, but it won't be included in monetization. So I'm like, well, that means I'm going to pull off my alternator, which is perfectly fine, and just put it back on just to show you how to do it. But like I said, I'm just taking out the two 16 millimeter bolts right now hey how y'all doing today always working man no it's not cold today once you stay busy for a while you start getting warm a little bit you need to eat more meat man <laughs> it's not cold out here i got on shorts and a t-shirt man this is good this is good all right so minute all right so now i got both of those bolts out you know i got my bolt out here my bolt out there you should be able to wiggle this see so see the alternator move now there's a compression bolt in there so if it feels like it can't come out just kind of get your screwdriver and just kind of put it right up under here whoops right up under there and press up and it should pop out but here i am with one hand i should be able to pull it out nope 
because that compression bolt right back there so I'm gonna get me like a little pry bar put it right here and check that out I just kind of wiggle it back and forth a couple of times put it right here wiggle it and there it is that's that little compression piece right there whoops right there that little piece there presses in between there and it keeps it from pop it locks in tighter as you screw the bolt in so and there you go there's your alternator right there this is the piece here this bolt as you tighten tighten it down this is going to squeeze in between that's like a little compression uh washer or something right there so as you starting to tighten this bolt down to the front it's going to pull it in tighter on the bracket and that's what's holding it on there so you get your uh, um pry bar put it in there pop it up and out it slides right up and out now if you want to get it in closer what you do is get you a small mallet just kind of tap it back a couple of times this is a a brass hammer so it's not really going to damage anything so I just tap that back a couple of times you can get a screwdriver something like this sit it like this and just tap it a few times to push it back a little bit just to get it to retract back into this sleeve that way it'll be easy to drop in there but that's only for a used one for a new one you shouldn't have that problem so that's basically how you get the alternator out put it back in it's basically the reverse like I said nothing's wrong with my alternator I did it just because I had to because of that video issue so I'm gonna clean up in here before I put this back because I'm like ease a little oil in there even though I redid my valve cover gasket and everything already so I'll clean up some okay so that's a pretty good angle for install I'm gonna take my you go alternator you're gonna get the split side here drop it straight on how you took it off last time always get that side lined up first Thing that's on there i'm gonna get my front i already put some lube on this a little bit Let's make sure i get my front on there right middle ladies here all right so once you line up the one you should be good to go uh, there we go Front's lined up straight on there. Now the rear, sometimes you gotta do a little bit more work. That's totally cool. Alright, I think that's pretty tight. Yep, now that's tightened up now. There, that's pretty tight right there. I always push the socket, the wrench in with my finger because I don't want this thing to ever slip. But that's pretty tight right there. Now I can start buttoning everything back up. I want to make sure I get my uh, wiring harness back on first. Let's go around this way. Let's get the wiring harness back on. That snaps back in. That's on. Now we want to put our... And this has uh, grooves in it so it just snaps right down in there. Get that back on. That's like I said, that's my 12 millimeter. Where's that at? Right. You don't want to tighten it too hard, just kind of snug it on there. There is snug. You don't need a lot of torque for that because you end up snapping that plastic. Right, that's back on. Now let's drop my bracket back on. Like I said, on the back end was the nut and the front end was the bolt. Let's set that on there real quick. Let's start right. wiring this thing in or screwing this back in. All right, these are 13 millimeters again. So those are all the way back down. I don't really hammer down on stuff. I just torque it tight enough 
because I always check my stuff anyways because I go out jeeping, so. All right, so I torque that down. It's probably about, I don't know, 15 foot pounds. It's not that tight at all. All right, that's about the same. Now what you want to do is you want to start getting this belt back together on there. Let me move my cooler back over here. Don't forget, once you do this side, like I said, to get your belt back on, you got to go back down into that hole there. Make sure you're wrapped around your water pump, and then you go back up around your, um, your alternator. So I got to use two hands for that, so I'm not going to be able to show you. But that's how you get it on there. And like I said, it should be pretty quick. Okay, so I got my belt routed in there perfectly. Everything goes straight down. It goes from the tensioner down to the crank, up back around the crank, around the water pump. Then it shoots all the way over to the air compressor, up to your alternator, around your idler pulley, then up to my supercharger, then back around my power steering pump. So mine should be good to go. Don't forget, when you're all done, come over. You can reattach your battery. Like I said, I could just do that right now because I'm done with everything. Everything's engaged. You can hear everything kick in. All I gotta do is tighten everything down and I'm good to go. That's it. I'm 10 millimeter. I don't know what you are. You could be 10, you could be 13, 11, who knows? Get that piece of hair out of there. But snap that down and you're good to go. And this thing should fire up, no problem. Like I said, nothing was wrong with my alternator. I just wanted to do it to remake this video over. But the other one will probably stay up there. I just don't get money. I don't monetize it. But there you go. It's all locked in. Ready to rock and roll.